Let's say I'm working in this NX monorepo. It's got two apps in here, along with end-to-end -end tests for each one. And each app has a few libs. And we also have a bunch of shared libs that any app can use. It's not the most complex monorepo setup, but let's say I want to run the tests for all of the apps and all of the libs in here. I'll go to my terminal and type nx run many. The target will be test, and I want to test all of the projects. We get to see the progress as it's happening, but when we get to the end, we see that something failed. So obviously our question is, what failed? And we might start to scroll up through the output, but right as we get to the failure, your terminal might not let you go that far up. And even if you're lucky and the buffer allows it, if you want to manually share terminal output with a colleague, you have to copy it, go to Slack, paste it in, format it, and hope it's not too big and overwhelming for a Slack message. Let's run the same command again, but with the dash dash scan argument. This is something new we've added. And the first thing is that we're asked to enable NX Cloud in our repo. This is completely free, so I'll say yes. And that's it. We get to watch the same output as the command is being executed. But now we get a link at the end. And if we click it, we get taken to this page that shows us a bunch of details about the command we just ran, including how many projects our command was executed against, how many failures we had, how long it took to run the command. And depending on your setup, you might even get some information about your machine here. And these are things that we might get asked anyway when we call in for a colleague support. But what's interesting is that down here, we get all these boxes that show us what projects were tested, which ones succeeded, and which ones failed. And this list might get longer as our project gets bigger. So we can filter to just the failed ones up here. And if we expand the failed project, we see the full terminal output scoped to that one specific project. And this example was for a simpler repo. The more libs you have, the more handy and useful something like this will get. Now, all we have to do is just send this URL to our colleague. And if you decide, hmm, I kind of like this feature, you can open up your nxjson file, go to the task runner options, and just add the scan true option. Then it's always gonna send your command terminal output to those pages we saw. And your colleagues will benefit from this as well without any setup on their part. And this works with any nx command, building, linting, testing, and so on. But commands don't just fail locally, they also fail on CI and quite often. So if we commit our changes and then push them, if you have CI running on your PRs, it will pick up the new scan setup automatically. No changes required there. And if we activate the GitHub NX Cloud bot and make a pull request, we'll start getting reports like this, which include all the NX commands our CI ran, which ones succeeded, which ones failed, and if we click on them, we get taken to that same familiar page that we can easily inspect or share with other devs to get some help. Oh, and remember when we said yes to NX Cloud earlier? That's also made all of your NX commands much, much faster by enabling free distributed computation caching among your team. And one other benefit of this view is that you can easily see which builds or tests completed instantly because they were a cache hit, which was none in my case because it was the first time I, I ran those commands, but also which ones missed the cache. And while all these pages are initially public when you first set this up, you can claim this workspace so it's yours forever. I'll need to go back to my nxjson file, copy my token, paste it in here, and now I've claimed my workspace. And doing so will not only give you more control around who can see those run details generated by devs pushing to your repo, but it's also gonna give you access to a view showing how much time you saved by using NX Cloud distributed computation caching. But for details on that, I do encourage you to check out some of our other content on distributed caching and why it can make your builds almost instant.